Hi everyone, this is my review of the Cummings NS850 juicer. I'd like to start with a comparison to a very similar juicer from Breville. Here's the fully assembled Cummings juicer and the fully assembled Breville juicer. As you can see, they are very similar to each other, so let's take a look at the detailed parts and see how those compare. And here are the individual piece parts set out for each machine with the Cummings on the left and Breville on the right. You can see most are very similar. The juice bowls and Pulp bowls are absolutely identical, as are the, the screener bowls and juicing screws. Outside of coloring, the cleaning brushes and wiper assemblies are also identical, coming out of the same molds. Now as we look at some of the other pieces, such as the, the top lids, uh, the fruit holder, the plunger, those are also identical. So let's take a look at some of the things that are slightly different between the two. Looking at the two base units, they're also very similar to each other, very similar coloring and such. Uh, the motors, the attachments are all in the same place. The power buttons are slightly offset, but very similar. The Cummings has an external handle, which is very easy to grip. The Breville has an internal handle, which is also very easy to use, just slightly different in design. Allows you to place it a little bit closer to the back wall if you want to, but very similar to each other. The juicing bowls are actually slightly different. Outside of just the tint, the location of the outlets for the juice and the pulp are located at different angles to each other. So as you're using these, it, it, it is different where you're going to put the juicing bowl and the, the pulp bowl. Um, it's just personal preference. Uh, once you get used to using one or the other, they're the same. Something I like about the Breville, as you can see there, it has markings for where you're going to line the bowl up. The Cummings, the instructions just say look at the bottom of the bowl, try to line up the holes, and then you turn it and lock it into place. It, once you get used to it, it's pretty easy, but the Breville is pretty nice in that it has alignment features that are labeled there. It makes it very easy to see as you put it on and then click it into place. So here's both units pretty much fully assembled. I just want to show that both of them, the tops have alignment markings on it that allows you to very easily put it on top. They are marked in different locations. Uh, the Cummings has an extra mark on the front here. Um, the Breville doesn't have that, but it has a very similar sort of alignment feature where they have dots that are on the juicer bowl and the lid has a mark and allows you to just lock it into place very easily. And after you get it all assembled, you just put the bowls in place, uh, line up the pulp bowl and then the juice bowl, and then you're, you're ready to go. Like I mentioned, the two different machines have the bowls in different orientations. The Cummings has the pulp bowl at a 90 degree angle to you and the juice is a little bit behind it. The Breville, on the other hand, has the juice bowl at 90 degrees, and the pulp is located on the other side of it. Um, either one works just fine. It's either personal preference or just whatever you get used to. Something that comes with the Cummings that doesn't come with the Breville is this extra cleaning tool that's used to clean off the internal screener bowl. Uh, you just put it inside, move it around, it cleans off the mesh really easily. To be honest though, I find that the cleaning brush that comes with both of them works very well and cleans pretty quickly. And finally, here's the juicer in action. 